hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today's tutorial is on this beautiful look is a an orange eyeshadow look i did on my model so if this is a video you love to watch the end please stick by and watch the end and if you are this is your first time of coming by here please don't forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell to watch my next videos and if you're already here thank you for coming back once again so let's hop into the video first of all i trimmed her eyebrows and then went into skin prepping so that her skin will be ready for the makeup okay it's not good to do makeup on a dehydrated face so i started with the micellar water to cleanse her face and then went in with um, the Dr. Rachel face serum to hydrate her face. And right here, I'm applying the moisturizer to put more moisture on her face. After applying with a brush, I use my hands to, you know, apply it so that the moisturizer will go deep into her skin. And then I use the Adventure Sweat Block to apply to her T-zone area where I know she sweats more. And then what I'm applying now is the primer. I use the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. I use the brush to apply it on her face and then use my fingers or my hands to, you know, dab it into her skin. All right. The foundation I'm using is the... The Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. I mix it with the Ava Foundation to get this color. I'll post. I'll put the color of the foundation I use on the description box because right now I didn't remember when I was doing this voice over. And before um, applying that foundation, I I sprayed her face with the Kiss Beauty Setting Mist, and then use my Beauty Blender to um dab it into her skin to blend it in i didn't use much foundation i put a little amount then after which i will use the foundation to apply anywhere i noticed that the foundation did not come out very well then uh, my camera was not on i didn't notice when i was highlighting her face so please pardon me on that all right I highlighted her face with a concealer. I use my Ferrari concealer palette. And then the next thing I'll be doing is to use my pressed powder. That's the Flawless IV powder palette. I use the white um, color right there to set her face first of all. Before I will use the main setting powder for it. So for now, I'll use this to set her her areas her the places i contoured using the places i highlighted using the contour so what i'll be doing right now is to um line her eyebrows and fill in her eyebrows first of all i use my um, edge control to brush it upwards and then use my powder to you know set it to set the edge control so that there will not be much oil left and then i'll use my davis eye pencil in color tree to line her eyebrows i first of all line the down part of her eyebrows and then go in to line the top After which I will use the same eyebrow, I'm sorry, I'll use the same eye pencil to fill in her eyebrows using hairline strokes with a light hand, alright, so that it will look natural. Meanwhile, the hair she's wearing is from a store. The hair has already been installed before, so I just did a blue lace install 
um, I applied the got to be um, blast spray and then just use the band to lay it down so that it would be flat after i line her eyebrows and fill it in i'll be using my concealer to clean under of her eyebrows then i'll use a very light shade to clean from her to clean from her brow bone then use a darker shade that is almost her color to clean the outer part of the eyebrows after which i use my beauty blender to, i first of all use a blending brush to blend it in and then use my beauty blender to smoothen it out then the top of her eyebrows i'll be using i used um a comb sorry a the her foundation the foundation i use on her eyes sorry on her face that's what i use in lining her eyebrows then moving forward to the um eyeshadow let me tell you guys one thing what i love most on this particular makeup is her eyeshadow i love that eyeshadow because the color pops very well all right before doing the eyeshadow i had to set her face using my sacha butter setting powder to set under her eyes remember i didn't set her, her eyes with sorry i didn't yeah i didn't set her eyes using this setting powder i first of all use the press powder to set her under eye and right now i'm setting her under eye because i want to make um i want to apply the eyeshadow so i use this um opportunity too to set her eyes out once so that whenever i apply my eyeshadow i would dust the excess eyeshadow that fell into um fell under her eyes i'll brush it off with the setting powder so this is the um, palette that the eyeshadow palette i'll be using for this look that's the victoria secret eyeshadow palette one thing about this eyeshadow palette if you notice it's still very very full most of the colors are untouched because i always avoided this eyeshadow because i thought that those colors do not come out before when i use those colors it doesn't come out but i was so surprised i used it this time it popped so that means i've been using it the wrong way all this while i don't know i don't know so First of all, I applied um, concealer on her eyelids. I applied the white shade of my concealer um, from the concealer palette, my Ferrarusi concealer palette, before going in with that orange shade right there. I first of all used a big fluffy brush to apply it on her eyelid and then went in with a smaller fluffy brush to blend it out into her um, brow bone. It's just like to faint out the eyeshadow using the same color okay i use the same color to apply um to faint out the color i applied on her eyelid so one thing about an eyeshadow application is knowing the right brushes to use in each type of eyeshadow this is a matte eyeshadow, it doesn't have shimmers, so that means I'll be using a fluffy brush to apply it. So, the next color I use is uh, from my Blossom Eyeshadow Color Palette, and that's the orange color um, right there. I'm sorry my camera didn't show it well, but that's the orange color on and right there i used it to transition the eyeshadow so that there will not be any harsh line that's what i used then i use a a fluffy brush but this brush is not really fluffy the way it should because i went in again with another brush to buff it out to smudge it um into her brow bone
also know that when applying eyeshadow you should use a very light hand to apply your eyeshadow okay after applying that um color and smudging it out i use the dark is that a dark pink or a dark red color on that blossom eyeshadow palette to apply around her outer v i first of all use the eyeshadow and pack it on her eyelid that's the outer corner of her eyes before going in with another brush to smudge it out so to smudge the eyeshadow out or to fence out the harsh lines i use that color i picked right there to you know buff it out and to um, blend it in so that there will not be any harsh line and so that it will look like a transitioning color by the way this um, eyeshadow look was inspired by a youtuber right here she's a makeup artist i follow very very well like she inspires me a lot i'll drop the link on the description box so that you watch the video i got inspired from to make this eyeshadow look all right so after blending out the outer corner and the cre um the brow bone area i use that dark purple shade right there to you know apply right there using a smaller fluffy brush i discovered that the um, purple color was not giving me what i wanted so i went in with a black shade and made sure that i blend it into the um, eye shadow or into the eyelid so after doing that i use the white color that's the white shade of um that's my v beauty powder palette to um still highlight her brow bone area so that that place will not look dark and after which i use my eyeliner to line her eyes also line her on the eyes and then i applied um the lashes before i applied my lashes i had to smudge her on the eye using the same color i used on her eyelid to smudge her under eye so that it will not look weird under her eyes because this looks like a smoky eye then i'll use the same color to run under her eyes too So that's me applying my eyelashes and then I went into her lips. I used a dark shade of brown to line her her lips with um, a lip brush. I first of all lined the top of her lips making sure that I smudged the color into her lips. All right, just watch the video to see how I am lining her lips. If you want me to do a detailed video on how I line her lips, please comment on the comment section below. Then her the down part of her lips, I will ask her to smile so that I will line it. There will not be any hitch while lining her lips, right? after lining her lips with the brown shade i went in with this nude color that is like 
pink that is um birch i think birch color no that's not birch color anyways the lipstick i use is the avoir lipstick lip stain and then i use the brush to smudge it in to blend it in I used my the brush to blend it in then the next thing I did was to take a concealer to apply on her lips again I wanted the color to you know I didn't want the pink shade I wanted it lighter so I applied the concealer on her lips and used my brush to blend it out Please guys do not forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video share to your friends comment down what you love about this video and like i said this hair is from our store and that's how it is it's a jumbo braid on a full lace so if you want to um buy or pro purchase any of this hair please send us a dm through mm -hmm. my phone number i will drop on the description box so this is the end of the look hope you love it see you in my next video bye <laughs>